Hello and welcome to Fearless DIY Music. My name is Tristan Lass and today I'd like to talk about videography. Um, the, you know, fine art of doing what I'm doing right now. Recording my voice, recording my image, recording the room, and then presenting it to the interwebs. Um, it is not easy to learn how to do this stuff but it's not impossible um, and I would just want to kind of want to cover a few things that I've learned so far and as I continue to learn I learned something very valuable already this morning that I'll share in a moment uh, but first I want to apologize for the quality of my last video from the studio because it sucked and it made me kind of go back to the drawing board and re-examine this space and uh, how I could make it work my shop is flooded with natural light. I've actually had to cover a window in my shop because there was too much natural light. And I have the opposite problem down here in the studio. Down here in the studio, it is basically a cave in my basement. It is a 12 by 12 room with a dark ceiling and a single light fixture. That really sucks. But I don't really feel like uh, you know upgrading the light because that light is not the key to success in this space. Uh, so I think I finally got my shit together this morning here in this space. And what I have done is I have flooded myself with light from behind the camera more so than usual and then adjusted my camera settings on my new 4K um, webcam that I'm staring into right now. I adjusted in OBS, which is the program I use to capture audio and video. Um, and I turn down the brightness so that I don't look like I'm crazy glowing white or anything. Although I have a lot of light shooting at me right now. So I guess maybe the first thing we should talk about when talking about videography is light. You need more of it than you would ever imagine. It has to be strategic. You need focused light like this ring. I have a ring light that's focused on my face right now. And then behind the camera, I have a soft box, which basically means a lot of diffused light with a controllable amount of wattage. So that I can, you know, kind of get my overall nice and flooded with a soft light. The way that I'm, I, I actually make my own soft lights that soft light over there is merely a lamp in the corner of the room with a bunch of parchment paper stapled to the corners covering the light so that the light coming through is nice and diffused. Um, and you, you just really have to focus and experiment a lot with light if you're planning on filming yourself and presenting it to the public. There's nothing worse than looking at crappy videos. Usually it's because of poor lighting. I know for a fact that most of my, uh, all the videos that I've shot up till this one in this space have been lower quality than the shop videos because the shop is really dialed. Like I said, I have tons of natural sunlight out there. I have no natural sunlight whatsoever in this space. This space is literally a cave. So lighting, you have to play with it and you're gonna need more of it than you could ever imagine. And you'll need directional light and you'll need diffused light. And then just background light. I treat my overhead light down here in the studio as just something to light those walls behind me so you can see all the guitars. Um, anyway, let's move on to other things that I've learned. I'm not proclaiming, by the way, I need to say this, I'm not proclaiming to be an expert on any of this. It is every day for me is a learning experience in trying to build this channel and present material that's both the material's interesting and you're not watching something that looks like dog shit. All right, cameras. Now, I have three different video cameras at this point. I've got a Logitech 4K webcam that I'm using right now, um, just a USB plugged into the computer. Um, it appears to be a good camera thus far. This is only the second time I've used it. And with the uh, lighting improved in here, I am uh, hoping that I get a much better result than the first time I used it, which was in the modes video. Um, out in the shop, I have a DSLR camera. It's just a Nikon D5300. It's an older DSLR camera. I use a cam link adapter 
which is a USB adapter into the laptop out there that converts the signal from that camera and basically turns it into a webcam. Of course, it is much higher quality because it is a DSLR camera with proper lenses. Um, it is all on auto. It works quite well now that I have the light figured out in there. Um, and then I've got a 1080p um, Logitech uh, webcam that I'm now using as my bench camera and there will be a video coming up fairly soon or it's probably already published by the time that I'm done you know by the time this one's published that one will already have been uh, will already have gone live but anyway I'm using that as my bench cam now I like to have all my cameras set up 24 7 ready to go so I'm not moving things around I don't like bouncing equipment from one place to another if you're gonna do videography having dedicated sets with dedicated microphones dedicated cameras I think it's critical because it's hard enough to come up with your material or, you know, let's say you're shooting a music video or whatever, it's hard enough to come up with the creative aspect without having to deal with the technical stuff each time that you're going to sit down to record. Every time you're going to every time I sit down to record, I want all my stuff ready to go and just flip it on with a switch. All right. Audio. I've kind of covered this before. Go over it real quick. Obviously, I'm using a Rode NT1 here. In my shop, I use a C1000 condenser mic that is above my head, pointing down. It catches the amplifier. I don't use multiple mics for any of my setups. I find that that is, um, it, it leads to a lot more work in editing. It leads to a lot more problems in capturing. Um, so, my idea always is, and if you haven't already learned this, I try to do my videos in one take, and they all are pretty much one take because I don't like editing. And uh, two, I like to uh, basically get a really good dialed room sound with my microphone placement and with my settings on my you know preamp and everything so that I don't have to set up a second mic just to uh, capture electric guitar sounds. So, you know, I will be doing bass videos eventually and other um, instrument demonstration videos just for fun and for, you know, your, for the benefit of the audience, you know, for people who want to learn some stuff. Uh, and I will always be trying to just use one mic in the room just to capture the room. All right. Um, I mentioned OBS earlier. It is the uh, capture program I use. It is a free program. You can put it on Apple. You can put it on Microsoft. You can put it on Linux. As if, if you don't already know this, if you've never watched my Ubuntu video, which you should, uh, I use Linux Ubuntu as my operating system for all of my uh, creative computers. And uh, it comes with OBS embedded in it. And it's a super easy program to use. It is super flexible. And it basically, you would never need a different program to capture your audio and your video. Uh, there are tons of tutorials out there for it. It is easy to use. It is very robust. And it is one of the industry standards for going ahead and doing videography. All right. Um, referring once again to Ubuntu, I... It comes with Caden Live, which is the video editing program that I use. It is also super intuitive. It is very easy to use and it is super robust. I have not even scratched the surface on it because I make every effort to keep my videos as uh, little editing as possible because I don't want to get bogged down in spending five hours to edit something that took me basically 20 minutes to shoot. Um, I feel like uh, it's, it's, it's part of what I want to do with my channel. And, but if you're somebody who wants to do lots of different editing and cuts and all sorts of stuff like that, uh, Caden Live is more than adequate to basically handle anything. I mean, you could, you could probably edit and make a movie on it pretty easily. So, uh, I'm super happy with that program. And it's, like I said, it's intuitive and there are tons of tutorials on that as well out there. Um, okay, well, I've been talking about Ubuntu a lot. Um, it is an all-in-one operating system. Ubuntu Studio is a version of it that I use on all my all of my uh, laptops that I use for music and videography. Um, 
comes with everything that you need to get started and is uh, super reliable and it's all free. If you have not watched my Ubuntu video, I will go ahead and link that at the end of this video. Um, if you've never tried a Linux operating system, do yourself a favor and do a side-by-side -side install on your current system and decide whether you want to keep paying for software or if you want a whole universe of free software. I use all Linux all the time, all free. And then I guess the final aspect of videography or making these kind of things is you need to have the thumbnail, the thing that lured you here in the first place. Um, I use Canva for that. It is also, I use the free version of Canva. It is super easy to use and making thumbnails is not hard once you learn to navigate the program. Now, we, you know, this, this channel is called uh, Fearless DIY Music. So, um, like I said, you know, using the Ubuntu system and learning how to do all this stuff yourself is very easy and you don't have to use Ubuntu you could be using Windows or Mac or whatever and just get you know basically that triumvirate of programs you know you go ahead and you you install OBS to do your video capture and your audio capture Caden Live uh, or another free video editor but Caden Live for video editing and then you render and then you make a thumbnail using Canva online. With those three programs, you are pretty much have everything you need to become a videographer. And um, like I said, there are tons and tons and tons of tutorials um, for all of those programs online. The, it is you know, virtually impossible not to be able to, to figure it out. Um, I am not a genius and I did not go to school to learn how to make videos. I knew, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a photographer, you know, none of those things, but you know, just through a willingness to do it and, uh, you know, just teaching myself, here we are. So I just want to encourage others who are interested in doing this sort of thing that it is doable and you don't have to spend a ton of money. You could use your, you could use your phone. You could use the webcam on your computer. There's all sorts of ways that you can get decent audio and video onto the internet at this point in history. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button um, and leave a comment. I love the comment section, as everybody knows. Keep them coming. Uh, I, I just uh, enjoy the interaction. And also, you know, a like and a share. Always appreciated. All right. Until next time, you take care.